because a lot of listeners have sent it in, and after this we'll get to a few other things, I do want to make mention of something that was apparently tweeted out by Vince Russo. And by the the way, somebody, if I ever have to go back and forth with somebody whose opinion I supposedly don't give a shit about, about how great I am or was, and or have to lament about how how bad the wrestling business was to me when I gave all to it. Like this simpering jack. Please, somebody come over here and hit me in the head with a club. Well, let's go to this actual tweet from Vince Russo on Twitter, at the Vince Russo, with a black and white photo of himself. Yeah, yeah, he's looking it, sad. It, it, it's a no, it's a current picture of him. I've seen this. A current picture of him in his office at his his podcasting location in black and white. And because he's sad and he wants a somber t- it's an artistic photo of him to match his mood that he's reporting on. Here is the tweet. Man, sometimes it just gets tough. I would love to stop watching WWE Raw. I would love to stop critiquing the show. Unfortunately, I am paid good money to do so, (laughs) and bills still have to get paid. I look forward to a time when I can eliminate pro wrestling from my life altogether. And and, uh, conversely, pro wrestling is looking forward to that same day. It's a curse, (laughs) because it has brought on deep depression for years. But it's also a blessing. Because I was good at it. (laughs) Which enabled me to still pay the bills through it some 32 years later. Truthfully, though, at the end of the day, I wish I would have just chosen another profession. But if I'm going to be completely honest, it chose me. (laughs) I didn't choose it. (laughs) That's the best writing he's ever done. You know, Actually, he spelled all the words right and everything, as I recall, didn't he? Nothing is like all in caps or anything. Like that's the best. Yeah, and that's no actually z- good. No Z instead of S. That's actually really good. That's the that's he, really good. For the first time in his life, he was trying to appeal to the literary crowd. Uh, Hence this, the black and white photo. Yeah, <laughs> this stuff writes itself. Where do I start? Number one, you wish you could stop watching Monday Night Raw. I've seen his YouTube numbers. If our YouTube numbers were his YouTube numbers, I wouldn't watch a second of any of this shit. Because I wouldn't even be doing it. God damn, for this this amount of fucking viewership and listenership and money that we're making, I still fucking wrestle with my conscience over watching these programs, much less the goddamn paltry 15 cents in Chinese money in a fucking cup on the street corner that he's getting. So I, I I have a hard time having sympathy. Secondly, maybe now this is poetic justice because all those years, all of the real wrestling fans, as well as everybody in the business had to fucking be held down and watch his horse shit. And we felt that was some of us were willing to pay to not have to watch it. So now, tit for tat, what's good for the goose is good for the shit stain. And finally, it chose me. No, you sat outside Vince and Linda McMahon's respective offices with your hat and your dick in your hand, trying to stooge and lie and connive and undercut your way into the goddamn magazine. And once you got a goddamn office in the corner then you've applied that same tactic to trying to get involved in everything else. And you were humored by a billionaire that didn't know what it felt like to lose a fight because he never had before. And you have subsisted on that for the past, what is it now, uh, 23 fucking years. Closed in on 24. You've done a shit body of work and people think you're a fucking joke. And there's never even any of that You know, he's an asshole, but we got to give the devil his due. He was the best at what he did. No, there was none of that because you weren't, and you never will be. And you should have chosen another line of work that you might have been good at. But for people to supposedly have sympathy for this fucking cretin 
this clown, this imbecile, this moron, this lunatic, just go, oh, golly, I had a two-year run in a business that I got into accidentally, and now nobody will fucking hire me again because I haven't done anything worthwhile in the past 23 years. Good God. And here's the problem. He's the same age as I am, Brian. Are you guys the same age? I think he might be He might be six months older. Oh, I didn't even realize that. One or the other. But the point is, he's still bemoaning the fact that he doesn't have a job related to wrestling, and I'm still trying to get rid of the last remaining ones that I've got. So we couldn't be further apart, once again, he and I. <sighs> but I do, I feel so sorry for him because he's in black and white. This is good. I like this writing here. He should do more of this. Like sympathy cards or something. <laughs> I don't know. But Jim, uh, we're going to We're talk sorry for your late ovulation. <laughs> you can make a lot of money with that one. With the ovulation line of cards. Yeah. 